Hey YouTubers, Stingmo93 here, back with another review for uh, Common Rider. This time it is the first of the Rewa period, Zero One, but uh, representing uh, Common Rider Ryuki, which for me, I wanted to do this progress key, and the, the box fell down first, fell down. I'm wanting to do this one's progress key before I even get my hands on the belt or anything like that, or any of the belts is because Ryuki, in its English version, was the first Kamen Rider I ever saw, personally. I mean, yeah, I watched, eventually watched uh, the original Japanese version with subtitles, obviously, because I have a hard time reading languages, with, or hearing languages without translations to what I do know. But, yeah, that's some of us, so... So, there's only going to be two noises from this thing when I get around to it. But first, let's take a look at packaging. So, Ryuki symbol, obviously Ryuki up top. Kamen Rider Ryuki, Kamen Rider Zero One. The Progress key. There's the Progress key up front. It's the DX version, not uh, one of the other versions that you, you know, basically piece together. Bandai. So here's the back of the box. Um, I'm gonna raise up my camera just a bit there. So there's the Zero One driver with obviously Ryugi. There's the Ames shot riser and the uh, Metubogenerai.net force riser. So there are five belt, uh, four belts total for that series. The, but this one, this one was made before they may re officially released the fourth belt. So that's why you don't see the fourth. You only see this one, this one, and this one. But there's a fourth one out there. So uh, yeah. So. So with the zero one belt, you have to, you know, put it right there, as you can see by this one's the easiest. You have to put it right there first, okay? Then you flip it, flip out the key part, and then slide it in, and then it'll open that from there to there, and then yeah, the symbol that's right there will get lit up from behind and show up right there, and then. 13 Dragon Knights, one can't survive without fighting, so, and then for the belt, that belt, you can push in the key for the main ending attack, then you can scan two progress keys with this part as well, for, you know, extra, what I call overkill, so, uh, with this one, you can do it two ways, you can slide it in like Valkyrie, which, after you push the button up top, you just slide it in and then do that. Or you can do it like uh, Vulcan. I don't know. I don't remember their actual names except for uh, Zero One. Uh, Hiden Aruto. But you could do it with Vulcan where you slide it down and then slide it in. But, uh, due to pricing nowadays, I most likely go with this one because this one's cheaper. That's the one I'm most likely going to use. And this one you can actually put on a regular belt, not the one that comes with any of these. You could put it on a regular sized belt. Now, I would be careful about that, just personally, that's just me. So I wouldn't put the main buckle, like, literally in the middle. I would put it off to the side over here. So that way... You don't accidentally, uh, you actually have room over on the side here to, uh, you know, latch it on. And you could put the slack right behind the driver. That's what I like. That's what I think about it. So, but yeah, with uh, that one, you click the button, you put it in, and then the, uh, little lever there, you pull it out, and the lever flips this. Then there, the red LED shows, shows behind it. So, 
of course, your typical stuff. And I know there's a warning thingy around here somewhere. Uh, it's probably under here. Yeah, it's like right over here. Basically, don't eat any little parts from this thing. It could be very bad. And of course, and I have to say thank you, Mgo, for this. Sad Pac-Man! <laughs> he looks like he's crying and the head's built like Pac-Man. And he's... Uh, pretty much that's also kind of like the same warning on the back and uh, warning here. Which, by the way, I have not yet learned how to read Japanese. So I have no clue what this says right now. I'm still working on it. I'm still working on learning. But yeah, Sad Pac-Man. So that's the packaging. So let's get down to the key. Yeah, it says on the top, Final Venting Ryuki, Ability Mirror, with Ryuki's helmet. So when you slide it into the program, into the drivers, that's basically the direction you slide it in. Basically, you don't put this end in the driver first. Uh, first, you don't do it like that. You have to make sure this is front. So yeah, you have, you have your kind of smoky black transparent button up top. Hold it. So let's look at this side. Yeah, you get Ryuki symbol right here. You got Ryuki's helmet, which this kind of, you know, kind of covers up. Then you have Ryuki symbol here. So uh, back, you got your typical made in Thailand, Bandai, and yes, uh, besides the, uh, program, uh, the QR code, sad Pac-Man just molded on forever in shame. So sad. So, let's get down to the two noises you can get with this without pushing these little two buttons over here, which is what the driver's supposed to do, which I will not be doing on these reviews without a driver for this series. Same with my Saber uh, Wonder Ride book, which I do have right here. But I'll review that one in a moment, in a little bit. So, push the button on the top, you get. And then. So I'll do that again. Lights up for Yuki. So. Yeah, that's all you can do with this without one of the drivers. Any one of the four drivers. So without uh, pushing these little two buttons, which, like I said, I will not be doing on this review. So, and either you... So with this one, you kind of have three options here. For wait, for For me. So you either wait till I can get the driver, one of the drivers, probably the one I pointed out on the packaging, the force riser, and wait for the uh, remaining sounds with that. B, you can go check out MGO. I'll, uh, yeah, you can go check out his Zero One playlist. And third option is, yeah, go check him out, but also wait for me to do it too. So, uh, if y'all want to contact me personally about, like, questions or things like that, I'm going to leave my uh, main Facebook that I, that I use now in the description below so yeah so that's pretty much it for this one